today we'll start health care plan health care plan configurations most interesting also important as well so health care plans are nothing but who will support health related issues for employees so here some plans might be employee employer both has to contribute some plans only employer only employer can contribute for employee it depends on the company policies etc we'll take both example whenever creating health care plan so we will have this concept employee only employee plus spouse employee plus spouse plus children okay another one employee plus spouse plus children plus maternal paternal parents it depends if the company allows to enroll when you okay. go with this option if employees enrolling the amount might be legible 10 dollars if employee plus spouse enrolling into the plan per month maybe together i'm just giving random numbers 20 dollars employees plus spouse ch children 30 dollars they have to contribute parents 50 dollars so up to employee interest these are all called health care coverage okay health care coverage some some companies may allow only employee some companies may allow only spouse and employee some companies may allow spouse plus children depends okay the amount has to be will be increased based on the employees chosen the coverage type these are called coverages ma'am to create this coverage, first we have to map relationship types. Let's see how. We are not talking about plan. That is next step. First relationship types, coverage types. We have to talk. We have to discuss. Create relation should be maintained. Maintain related to persons relationships. What are all groups are allowed? What are all groups are allowed from the employer? First, we have to understand. Some company will call spouse. Some co some companies may specifically say husband and wife, or same sex spouse, ex spouse, domestic partner. Different countries this may call different terms, right? Man? So based yeah. on that, here we have to select. These are configurable ones. These are all worked at error values. We just have to map. Okay. We okay. just have to map. For example, so most of the things I already gave him. Okay. Let's assume I want to create uh, one relationship type called girl chair. Okay, girl chair. Now, which relationship type is most suitable for nearest value? No, no, that's correct. Child. Okay. Child. Child is correct. Yeah. Similarly, if I give, okay, instead of girl chair, I should give like something this way. A daughter. Child. Son. For son, what you suggest me? Same child. Child, right? So these are delivery work day. These are we have to based on the customer requirement. We need to configure and map it. Okay. okay. Restricted relationships means um this for just a second. Restricted relationship means, for example, child I selected. I would like to display child as a dependent, not as a beneficiary. You remember when we were working on 401k, we added beneficiary. Yes. When you select the child restricted dependent, the child no longer available as a beneficiary. Okay. I'm restricting. Or if I select the child, oh, sorry, child should not be emergency contact. 
just take an example so we are restricting all the dependent or if i select child as a beneficiary and dependent i can assign a has assign the child as a dependent or also enroll it to beneficiary as well or if i unselect all all three will be satisfied a child oh. dependent a child can be a beneficiary a child can be an emergency contact oh, okay okay other background so if you have such requirements so please do configure this one sure One um, the next one, restrictive country. Is there any new relationship types you created? And you can restrict it to country. For example, same sex spouse. Okay. I would like to restrict to uh, let's say Australia. And this relationship name is available only in Australia. Man. You cannot see for any other countries. Okay. Got it? You cannot see. Where. So I will tell you where exactly we are including. I, I will tell you. You can restrict also. Can be high height from few countries, can be allowed from few countries, etc. So include relationship for wellness as well. So here we have wellness data exclusive for US. If you want to include this same relationship type for wellness, you can select here as well. Okay. This is called maintained relationship types. Now coverages. Coverages, these values. Access the task, maintain. Oh, I always get hit. Confiscate healthcare coverage types. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, targets. Maintain healthcare coverage targets. Okay. So here we just discussed, right? The same values. Work day already, I mean, in this end is already available, but sample I will show to you. So we have employee plus dependent, employee plus domestic partner, employee plus entire family, hmm. employee plus only. Let me take, okay, I will take domestic partner. Okay, I will take this example. So they're creating one value. And display order, I'm giving it as four. Display order in a sense, once, when out the employee choosing this plan, right? If employee met all the criteria, it will align the display. One, two, three, four, which one you want to display for the worker first, okay? Okay, okay I'm giving it as four. Now the name is, I'll just copy paste this one. Employee plus spouse plus children plus parents. Okay, the name is free text. Minimum dependent count. You know how many dependents you would like to enter? We selected employee plus spouse plus children plus parent. Okay, so minimum one dependent. Maximum, if you go 99, up to 19 and dependents, the employee can enroll, but ensure there should be either of this uh, relationship. Okay? okay. Some companies will say unlimited. Some companies will say strictly not more than six. Six people only can enroll. So you can give this minimum one dependent, maximum up to six dependents. Okay. okay. Employees, spouse, children, and yeah, six dependents. We can do. What are the allowed or valid dependent types? If we elect this coverage, what are the valid dependent types? Two, I'm sorry, two, three, four. Employee. Just a second. Huh? Employee by default, sorry. Uh, spouse. Children, employee by default is enrolling. So now it is confident. Spouse, children, parents. Parent. So these through these three groups are eligible under this coverage type. Minimum one person, up to six person we can enroll. 
and valid dependent types are only these three. If you select anyone else, sibling or uh, grandparents, what it doesn't allow you because we are restricting strictly these three three types of relationships are allowed. Okay. Yeah. If you select the checkbox, it's mandatory they have to enroll. Or else Vogdo will give you an error message. Requires enrollment. Okay, to force you mandatory to enroll the spouse, force you to enroll the child, force you to enroll the parent. If you have such requirements, select this checkbox. Or else if you're giving a choice to employ, you choose whom you want to uh, coverage, whom you want to include coverage, then ignore this one. Okay. Okay. So health healthcare healthcare coverage target we will discuss in our health savings account. Okay, health savings account we will discuss. Right. Healthcare plans we have two types. So I will list out what we discuss. We discuss relationship types. Second thing, coverage healthcare coverage targets. In insurance we will call it as healthcare coverage types. Coverage targets. Um, that's it, right? Yeah. Now we will proceed. Healthcare plans are of two types. Right? Two types. One is a flat amount, something like this employee, if employee, under $10. Post twenty dollars, children thirty fifty flat amount. Another one is calculated flat uh, flat amount. Other one is calculated flat amount. Is example this one a flat amount? That's all. It's not going to change any time. Coverage amount means sorry. Calculated amount means the amount calculated based on employee age. The amount calculated based on employee service, we can choose calculated. Okay, so first we'll focus on flat today, how to create and testing. Next session, I will explain how to create calculations, rates, etc. cetera. Okay, rate band. Okay, so as usual, we'll create our configurations. First thing, create, uh, which, what is the first task we to create a benefit plan whom we need? Provider, right? Benefit yeah. provider. Okay. Mm, who is going to give this coverage? MetLife. Definitely, it might be available, but like for uh, understanding our uh, BS, MetLife. Okay. Next step. Okay. And then benefit coverage types. Which one is we are talking about? Healthcare. Perfect. Oh, right. The first one, healthcare. Right. Oh yes, this classification, especially US specific, uh, vision, dental, high priorities. Okay. Excuse me. So display one, I'm doing it at one. So I'm going to give the name as mm, okay, RBS. Anyhow, it will pick up from the coverage type. I will select a in caps lock medical because this name is already there. Sure. Classification. classification, this doesn't play any key role. It just denotes like vision, dental, health, uh, those US specific one. I will explain in detail. Then icon. So since it is a health related, I'm selecting heart, heart plus time. Okay. So these are you are aware. Only one election. Must write coverage. Display employee cost. Display employee cost. If any credits uh, are available, we are going to cover credits also. Let's select credits as well. So credit is nothing but um, benefit credits means. You have taken an insurance mm -hmm. and you have paid some amount to the uh, insurer provider and nothing you have claimed. At the end, you'll get some benefit, correct? A 10% discount. 
Yeah. A 20% discount to renew to the next year. Yes. Same credit. What happens to the credits if none of the employee is not claiming any amount from the hospitals, mm -hmm. they may get some credits. Credit from the provider, credit from the employer. Okay. Oh, okay. So not using money. So for example, $200, $500 in terms of money they give to support this product. Sorry, uh, to support this uh, insurance plan. Okay, okay. To encourage the employee to be health, healthy. So those are nothing but credits. Okay. So we'll talk about this. Well, we'll call it one. And then next task, please. What is the next task? Benefit group, we are using existing one for salary. Existing. And we are creating health care. We need dependent eligibility rule also, correct? Yes. So let's create dependent eligibility rule. Create benefit eligibility. Okay. Yeah. Dependent eligibility. Okay. The name are we here? Depend. Then eligibility. Okay. So select the dependent eligibility. So you can select dependents or relation. Either you can select. Perfect. Dependent. So in my experience of testing, dependent is still available. Sometimes it doesn't work. That's what we have to depend for the employee that feels related to the internship. Sometimes if this doesn't work, mm -hmm. you can also select relationship. This is also works. Okay. Relationship in the selection list. Who are all we have selected? Um, spouse, child. Parent, spouse. Yeah. Spouse, child, parent. So these three people are eligible. Okay. Next step. Proceed to create a benefit plan. Create benefit plan. One one two zero twenty two RBS plan type okay. So as I said, two options here we have flat rate, calculate rate. First we'll go with flat rate. Uh, in the next maybe in the weekend we are talking it. I will explain how to get calculate. Sure. For that we need to create uh, benefit credits. We need to create healthcare uh, rates, bands. So, flat rate. Irrespective of the employee age, irrespective of the years of service, irrespective of the employee work location, only flat amount. Coverage type medical. Classification we are not included, so you can see nothing. It's just a reference. Plan name RBS MetLife Medical. It will come like this provider plus coverage type. So I'll give something here. RBS MetLab Medical Coverage. Or simply let's say plan. Plan description. If any URL is available from the MetLab, we can copy paste here. We discussed. Any group policy number, some, sometimes group policy will be there for healthcare. If MetLab has provided any group policy number, we can copy paste here. Participating benefit group, standard one we are selecting. US salaried. Scroll down. Worker plan eligibility, we have not any specific requirement, but different plan eligibility, yes. Over is different eligibility group. Okay, sometimes some companies may allow dependents greater than or equal to certain age. Okay, only specific group of this. As per this dependent eligibility rule, all these three people are eligible. But okay. some companies may give 
additional uh, preferences or additional age for parents or child or parents or child we need to create this is also dependent eligibility rule ma'am but you will include age here that's all okay, okay. for example if you see if it is this is also dependent eligibility rule relationship type with child equal to true age is greater than equal to 19 or less than equal to 19 additional one will create if applicable okay, okay. So when is a request provider ID checkbox uh, on the plan, right? Whenever they're enrolling into the plan, it will force the employee to select provider ID. It will force, work day will force the employee to uh, give provider ID. Auto enroll means once you assign this plan, automatic plan will be defaulted. It cannot be waived by the employee. So there's a different scenario I will discuss. This is just a reference. Is it a highly deductible health plan? Highly compensated employees, highly deductible health plan because the payroll team is required these details to adjust the tax ones, right? Oh. If it is a highly deductible health plan, select this for payroll team. It doesn't play any key role. Okay. Okay. And use individual rates. If you are maintaining these rates in external system, then we'll select the checkbox so that you will get reset individual rate. Okay. But uh, don't worry, none of the customers are not maintaining a textron system, but there might be also scenarios. For example, individual rates in the sense, we have three applications now. MetLife, the provider, we have Workday, and the customer or employer. Now, some companies, what they will do, they will give direct access to MetLife to their employees. Okay? Okay. So, what they will tell is, your health care rates are maintaining in the MetLife, not in Workday. They are maintaining in the MetLife, not in Workday. So, they will give the login account. You log into and see what are the contributions you have been made. And also, you can request for any uh, health care related claims. Some companies, what they will do, provider is MetLife, but however, they'll, they'll create an integration to Workday. They'll create an integration to Workday to maintain individual rates. Okay. Okay. If you have such requirement, you just Workday utilizing only for reference purpose to bring the rates, then you can go with individual rates. Okay. okay. Or, or if you're maintaining the amount, everything within Workday itself, don't go with this option because here you can maintain these amounts. Okay, so currency, USD. The individual rates will be changed for year to year. If you enable this checkbox, automatically this also will be enabled. Currently we have disabled, hence it is disabled. But one point here we have to remember, by any chance, by mistake, you select individual rates and created the plan and you have assigned this plan to an employee, later we cannot reset. Oh. Later we cannot reset. The entire plan is we have to inactivate it and create a brand new plan. Okay, that's okay. limitation. Okay. Okay. So frequency, uh, let's select monthly up to customer requirements. This is the fiction one we are selecting. This is exclusive for US Medicare. So coverage types, hospital networks, whatever they have, we can create and we can assign it here. I will explain how to do this. Similarly, RX, can be in group number, toll free number, all these details can be typed. Okay. Options. Expand plan details. These are the new features actually. Here we can give spouse, children, parent in this plan. Have any questions? A kind of help text. Okay. Please reach out to benefit at me. Okay. Something new things even I'm seeing. <laughs> Expand plan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For each coverage type, for each help text, this is fine. I will explore and come back on this. 
will go with standard. The USA cow benefit group water waste selected will be available here, ma'am. Now you have to you choose the option. Who are our, these are the coverage tests we created? Healthcare coverage, right? Remember yeah. the pay access, everything will be defaulted. Okay, everything will be defaulted here. But okay. your requirement is your requirement is employee plus spouse plus parent, correct? Yeah. Now only remain, yeah, remain you can remove it. Member not required. Man manager not required. Employee we need, employee only we need. Employee plus dependent. Mm, it's okay. Employee family is not required. Employee plus domestic partner or spouse or if it is available we can select domestic partner i should have created few more actually employee only employee plus child how come employee plus child is not there um, then so employee can contribute employer can contribute both can be contributed so we'll give both if employee only rate is per month ten dollars employee is a pre-tax yes employee non-employee cost for employee cost is ten dollars if employee plus child employee has to contribute twenty dollars Employer also will give 20. Ma'am, this round, this amount is fixed now. Okay. Customer mm -hmm. will provide all that. If employer, full family, sorry, entire family, 50 US dollars they have to pay. If employee enrolled, $10 they have to pay. Employer also will pay $10. For, for employee plus spouse, $20. Employer also will pay. Family, $50. None of the employer will pay this much amount. I am given ten dollars, <laughs> or let's say twenty dollars. Okay. So credits I will cover during our uh, calculated plan. You can scroll to the right. You can still see few more options here. Okay. Costing companies deductions for each coverage type. This is for payroll entity. Don't worry about this. If there is any surcharges are available. Okay. So we can select these surcharges also. Surcharge in the sense, some extra money okay. to enroll in the additional benefits. Company is giving the toppers, right? Again, they have to employ has to pay some additional money. Kind of. But no company will ask for this to Okay. Okay. Actually, the complex one is calculated method. This is straight because it doesn't check employee age. It doesn't check employee years of service. Everything remains same. Okay. Now, as usual, quickly we'll create benefit event. We'll include enrollment event rule, and we'll go to plan year definition and we'll assign this to quickly. We'll test it. Create. Create. Benefit event RBS healthcare medical to the USA when partner can assign and this. Okay. Enrollment even tool, I will just do mapping. Existing one. One of the complex thing is creating benefit group and enrollment even. One class I will cover this one. So now we we'll just focus on the plans. US and India. I will select from number first one. Oh, we better select the same date. Hmm. And all the event type are there. Medical coverage type. Medical coverage plan. Coverage rules. 
Administrative correction means benefit administrator has full access to correct birth adoption of child means if, if the employee has a kid birth or they adopt the child, the child also have to enroll into the plan, right? Yeah. So they have to do the changes. Okay. Legal marriage status means a spouse can be married or maybe some other unforeseasons. They can with this reason they can enroll the spouse. Okay. Medicare, Medicare change, other dependent change. So these are all reasons. Okay, and oh yes, here is the important. Allow dependent changes. Consult any plan. Allow dependent changes. Additional dependents are always allowed. Allowed. What are the dependents that are allowed? Spouse allowed. Child allowed. Parent also. It's like a control. If you're doing any changes, would you like to whom you want to add, whom you want to remove? Default direction rules. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Whatever you configured is not saved. Oh. Just a second. That's why we have it. Okay. Not the right time to do experiment. Obvious. Dependent change is allowed, additional dependents are allowed, types, child, parent, domestic partner, or spouse. Oh. Oh. Now the next step is create benefit. Plan your definition. RBS. Um, Healthcare plan, the one we created. Oh, now we're good to proceed for testing. John Chen, little reactions. We're going to send the plan to work. Benefits, change benefits. So the reason should be there. RBS. Healthcare. Just one day passed. Perfect. We go for reassign. I mean, Maria. We have to pull the steps from Maria. So reassign to Logan. Okay. <clears throat> then it comes to Logan. Box. Let's get start. Medical. Only one is there, correct? Select. Confirm. It should allow 
now the coverage starts here now three coverage starts we included no only employee mm -hmm. employee plus boss employee plus domestic partner so i will set employee plus domestic partner and the domestic partner is already is enrolled as a dependent why i am not able to select domestic partner plus employee cost is 20 dollars okay so you remember right now provider id we have enabled as yes so that's yeah. what provider is asking let me save this expected like one more dependent relationship relationship types for domestic mapping went wrong okay for now let me go with this employee only so what happened is in the rule i have selected in the rule i have selected spouse but in the coverage i have selected domestic partner both are not mapping match i okay. am getting an error so i will just go with employee for now okay so anyhow we are creating this plan We'll do that. Oh. Okay. So review and sign on. I agree. Submit. Oh. Short sure. that is calling. Okay. Go to John Chen. Benefits. This is the RBS metal and benefit employee only. Spouse and all, I will select calculate also. We will discuss them. ten dollars for employee. Employee plus employee cost. Okay. Yeah. 